Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning into your weekly tarot reading. I'm going to be using the Shadowscapes tarot and we'll see what cards come up for you because it may be relevant into what's going on for you this week in regards to love. So we'll see what's coming up for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius uh, and also to the cross watchers. If you're dealing with a air sign romantically, then this reading can be for you as well. Um, and you can sort of gauge where they're at, what they're thinking, what's happening on their end. Um, please keep in mind it's a general reading though. Um, obviously each situation is very different. Nonetheless, I do hope there is something here um, that will resonate with your situation. So don't forget to drop a like um, on this video, to subscribe as well and join the YouTube fam. Um, otherwise, let's, let's pull out some cards for air signs. Okay, so the only air card that has come up is the Ten of Swords air signs. So there's there's something that you're going through. Um, you know, the, te the Ten of Swords can really be like a complicated issue or a complicated matter um, that has you distracted, especially with your thoughts. And you might not necessarily be at a really strong point um, mentally, okay, where you're at. The moon can be anxiety, can also be the sign of a, a cancer. There may be a cancer involved. You've got the Taurus, you've got Aries here. Um, and the Nine of Cups, lots of Pisces. So you might be dealing with one of these signs romantically. Uh, and maybe if you are, then this is maybe a message more suited for you. Um, but look, the Ten of Swords can be about some sort of ending or something that's that's beginning. And you can see she's sort of slipping in her thoughts here. And she's, she's, she's in this place where she's not sure where she's at. So you might feel like you're a little bit lost right now. Um, you know, maybe the connection isn't going how you want it to. Maybe you're not sure what you want. Maybe you've recently ended things. You feel like something doesn't really add up. And you might be, you know, questioning a lot that has happened in your recent past. Might be questioning a lot. Maybe that's happening this week. The High Priestess is here. Now, she keeps secrets. She's the prophetess. So it's almost like you might be asking yourself, why did so-and-so do this? Or why did this happen? Or what am I meant to take from this? You might be asking yourself some big, big questions here, trying to understand the bigger picture, trying to understand um, why something is happening or something has happened and what you're meant to take from all of that. Because we address those big questions when the High Priestess is here. So my inkling is that you're trying to piece together a recent love situation, possibly something that's been reversed. Now, the, the Venus card and the magician are reversed. So it's either you're questioning a, about an existing connection or a relationship that went wrong. So this person was very important to you. Uh, them, they're coming up as, as the Taurus, but either way, uh, Taurus is ruled by Venus, planet of love. But we have the magician here. So this is someone that you started to date or started to see or you were getting excited about, but it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. Or maybe, you know, you had the first date and it didn't go too well. Um, you know, maybe you found out more about this person or you got excited, but then that excitement went away for some reason. So it could be a couple of things. It could be something you've ended with an ex recently, but it could also be someone new that you started to see. You've got two nines, nines are numbers of endings. So there's two endings here um, that are coming up. The good news is, is that you have the nine of cups. So there is a wish coming true for you. So this is really sweet because something you've wished for may happen in your love life. Um, you may hear from a person. You may jump to the next stage in your relationship. Um, you may reconnect with someone here. You may get the answers that you're sort of seeking. Um, and, you know, this is sometimes being in a place where we feel pained or be betrayed. Um, oftentimes, especially in the Rider Waite deck, this, this card is read as like a betrayal. So there might be a part of you that feels betrayed um, in a love situation. You might be trying to understand the bigger picture as to why this person might have betrayed you or upset you or, or done something to you. I think for the most part, you're trying to keep yourself distracted and, and, and uh, focused on self-growth maybe. And, and that's really good in one aspect, but it's not going to give you that nine of cups. It's not going to help you understand why something happened. So there is some sort of disconnection here with the king of pentacles, and that might be throwing you off a little bit, causing you know that anxiety with the moon here. 
Um, I also feel like there, there might be someone here from your past that you still have feelings for. Although, I mean, the moon has come up in like a crescent moon down the bottom here. So it might not be that emotions are fully still heightened about this person. But you might notice that you still have feelings for a person here that you haven't healed from. And that could be why you're feeling that Ten of Swords, especially if you're feeling like pained or betrayed by them. Obviously, your feelings might have been affected. And, you know, that's that's not always easy to deal with. Uh, looking at this imagery in the Nine of Cups, I feel like the fish are all swimming in one direction. And sometimes we just have to accept the ebb and flow of things. Um, just like the tide, just like the lunar cycles of the moon. Sometimes it's high end, sometimes it's high tide, sometimes it's low tide. And so, so too are the waves, waves of life, um, waves of love. And I feel like there's an ebb and flow to what's going on here. It can be very emotional because you've got two, two water energy that has come up, two of the cards, water energy. So, you know, it's, it's not surprising in this, in this situation. And there might be a message here with the magician that if you have disconnected in a love situation or you've had an argument, it's like you're not ready to move forward yet. You're not ready to maybe talk about it. Maybe there's other things outside of love that are distracting you. Um, maybe there's other things that are keeping your mind sort of agitated a little bit. But the when the air, uh, the magician is reversed, sometimes a magician can be read as a Gemini as well. But when this is reversed, it can indicate that we're not right now in a good state to start anything new, albeit a new connection or new energy, new feelings, a new argument, a new conversation. This is reversed, so we could indicate that you know, it might be a time where you feel like you want to lay low. You want peace. The high priestess is also um, mystery. So you might be trying to be like more withdrawn. And maybe your person is seeing you as mysterious. They're like, well, what's going on with them? What are they doing? What have they been up to? Um, she also rules intuition. So you might get a dream, for example. Uh, you might get a premonition, a thought, a feeling, a hunch, a vibe of some kind. So, you know, listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, because it may be trying to tell you something about a disconnection, perhaps about a betrayal, okay? Uh, maybe even about a beautiful wish coming true. So regardless, there's some peak times, there's some high, nice times, positive times, but there's also some low moments that you're going to experience. And just, I think you have to take everything with a grain of salt and just trust that what comes up must come down, what goes down, what comes up just like the ebb and flow, um, you know, of life and of cycles. So um, I do hope this reading has been helpful. Thank you again so much, uh, Air Signs. It really does mean a lot. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So thank you again. And I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So have a wonderful week and bye for now.